I might live to, for, to regret this. That's what you say after you do something and, you know, it's pushing it. It's like pushing the boundaries or something. You know, it's like when you, when you kind of know that you're pushing things, you know. When you do something and you know that it, there's a potential of a downside that might come back on you for doing something, for, for being a, you know, like a public person, for for making videos like what I do. And, you know, there's a possibility that you might generate some real negativity towards yourself because somebody doesn't like you very much for what you say or what you represent. Should you do it? You have to do it. You have to get out of your shell of being afraid of what other people are going to say or do to you. You have to be a, your authentic, true self. If you're hiding because you're afraid of, that there's people out there that aren't going to like you or what you have to say, it's going to make you a mental case. It's going to make you absolutely a mental case because you're going to have a phony baloney fake mask that you're wearing you're not going to be who you really are inside and i think a lot of people are that have that problem uh they have high anxiety the root of high anxiety one of the roots of high anxiety is because people have met others uh, during their lifetime who are anti what you are pro so you know that there are people out there that don't like what you are and what you have to say. And that's why people put on these fake masks and pretend to be something they're not, to fit in. But by the time you reach adulthood, if you're still doing these phony fake masks and pretending to be something that you're not, uh, you've got a mental problem. Because you're not being true to yourself. And it's true that, you know, in our society, there always seems to be some kook out there. Maybe they don't seem to be kook. Maybe they seem, I mean, for me, mainstream, when I was growing up, was the kooks. Mainstream, if you weren't like totally like white bread and um, whatever your minority was, you were oppressed. So, um, let's get away from this, everyone being, you know, a clone, the, the man in the gray suit, you know, I, that, you have to get away from trying to be normal. You have to get away from that. You have to go and let your inner spirit speak and be, you know, whatever your true spirit is needs to come out. Or you're going to generate health problems. It's not just that you're you're hiding behind a mask. It's because you're you're creating a web of lies. You know you're not really speaking your truth. I'm going to rephrase that. You are not speaking your truth. What happens if you don't speak your truth? You're going to get sick. Your body knows when you're lying. You're going to develop problems, probably problems in your throat and in your heart. You're going to, these chakras, these, these energy centers in your body are going to get sick if you're not speaking your truth. Now, the really horrible thing is that some people that really believe the bullshit that they're saying, hateful things about other people, they're using their throat and speaking their ego what are they going to do with their heart? They're going to have heart problems. Because if you're using your heart and you're not telling truth, you're connected to all these other people. I, I just did a video about um, gay pride and I said, I don't like lesbians. 
Am I going to have heart problems about that? Um, I didn't. Why don't I like lesbians? Um, lesbians are nasty to me. Nasty. It's just my personal experience. So I'm, I'm, I'm speaking my truth. I don't know why. Maybe they just don't like men in general. general. But, you know, are there any lesbians like me? I can't think of any. They don't like me. Are there gays that don't like Oh, yeah. There's a lot of gays that don't like me, too. And there's straight people that don't like me. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, though. On the weekend, I was at my, my buddy's cottage camp. There was a fox there. And he was very friendly. He, he didn't come up to get petted, but he was very friendly. Oh, well, he's been fed by humans. But I think that fox likes me a lot more than a lot of humans. You got to be yourself. Even when you know there's people out there. I was at the karaoke bar last night. And there's a semi-regular person. A guy that goes there. He has got the hugest chip on his shoulder. He is the biggest dick there is in town. Not like in like a big swinging sexy person. He's got a chip on his shoulder. And he's a... He, no one likes this guy. He's a good singer. I'll give him that. But he's got a miserable attitude. He doesn't like me. And I don't like him. Uh, and I was going to stay and sing. And in the end, my body decided it didn't want this toxic person. So uh, we left and we didn't sing. Um, so it doesn't mean that because you know someone, you know, you should stand there and, you know, be in the presence of Joe Toxic. Sometimes we do. Sometimes just to show we're not afraid of Joe Toxic. But, um, you know, you don't have to do it every time. You don't have to stand in the presence of toxic people every time. But usually I do quite a bit. Quite a bit. But sometimes it's like, ugh, I just can't handle it today. And, you know, if you don't feel like it, that's being true to yourself. So how are you going to cause heart problems if you're being phony baloney? You're going to create anxiety. Your body is not going to understand what you're doing. You know, the, body's, the body knows if you're not being in integrity with yourself. So be in integrity with yourself. Speak your truth. Speak your truth and be authentic. I'm Harry Weaver.